guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. So today we are building a trailer and this trailer, my initial plan for it was that it was going to be very kind of dark and rustic and completely over cluttered like we were talking about on my Discord server. But then while choosing wallpapers, something just kind of happened and we ended up going in a completely different direction. Because I was looking at the two base game wooden wall panels and I believe they've added at least two swatches to one of them, possibly four. So the one wallpaper with the very narrow kind of, yeah, wood panels has four more swatches or at least two. See, I'm not entirely sure because I don't ever use that wallpaper normally. I don't recall ever having used it, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure how many swatches were added, but I've definitely never seen the orange and also the the yellow one before, so I was very, very happy when I noticed we had a yellow wallpaper. Also, if you have watched my videos for a while now, you may have, or you may remember that I've, I've mentioned a couple of times that I really, really wanted a bright yellow wallpaper that we could use on exteriors. So I am so freaking happy that we got it, finally. <laughs> like, I'm so happy. And yeah, of course I had to go for the yellow wallpaper. I actually considered making this trailer orange to start out with, but I don't know, the yellow just speaks to me, so I decided to go for that one instead. But I still want to use the orange one for something, and also the there is a swatch that's a little bit more like purple blue sort of I want to guess it's sort of like with reshade it looks kind of purple but without reshade it looks more blue so I don't know I suppose it's blue but my reshade just saturates everything a bit more so I don't know if it's kind of just because it has some purple undertones to it or something there's something going on with that swatch but I really like it and I want to use it for something at some point but not today as you can see right before by the way that's the swatch I was talking about the more purple one and I really like it purple is my favorite color along with the burgundy as well so we got purple wallpaper super exciting I don't know I'm so excited about wallpaper anyway <laughs> So yeah, we are building this trailer and like I said, it was supposed to be rustic, but as you can see right now, it definitely does not look rustic and it's not going to turn out to be very rustic either, so hopefully you guys will like it anyways. So in this trailer, there is room for two parents, a kid, a toddler, a baby, and also a dog. However, the dog, just keep the dog in mind because... Once we get to the bathroom, you'll notice that I put in a shower instead of a bathtub and I'll have to go back and change that after doing this voiceover because once you have a dog, you need a bathtub basically and also a toddler actually, so just, you know, otherwise you can't bathe them, so ignore the bathroom as of right now. I will go back and change it to a um, bath slash shower combo, so don't worry about that. So yeah, there is room for a dog, and I chose a dog instead of a cat, by the way, because there is no way that I could have put a litter box in the bathroom, because the bathroom is two by two, so it's a very, very small bathroom, and I usually put my litter boxes in the bathroom, because I just feel like that makes more sense to me. Usually, like in real life, I've seen people have their little boxes in the hallway, so, or in the entryway, at least, you know, the, the homes I've been to or been in where they had cats, they've had them in the hallway, or maybe like the basement entry, or you guys know what I mean, hopefully, but um, it's a trailer. There is no hallway. <laughs> there is no room for a hallway. I also had to combine the kids and also the toddler's bedroom. So they share a very, very small bedroom. And then the baby's bassinet is in the parents' bedroom. But I really wanted to see how many sims I could fit into a tiny space like this. So I just kind of went for it and hopefully that is okay with you guys. I also don't know what's going to happen to the kid once the kid turns into a teen. And if possibly the teen wants their own room and there's just no room for it in this trailer so I don't know what's gonna happen with that situation and also the baby once it turns into a toddler because there is only one toddler bed in this uh, in this trailer but like I said before I just wanted to see how many sims I could fit into a tiny living space like this because you guys know I tend to build bigger houses and sometimes sure I'll put two kids in one room but usually they have big rooms and it should be fine you know it actually makes more sense to have maybe a pair of twins living in a room that big 
but um, for once I am building a tiny, tiny living space and <laughs> just trying to put as many sims in here as possible, so... I will say though, there is also no dresser in the kids' bedroom, so or the kid slash toddler's bedroom. So if you want or if you insist there should be a dresser, you can take out the toddler bed and put in a dresser instead and it should be fine. But I it was just honestly, I was thinking more about gameplay purposes when it comes or when it came to this build. So there is a mirror and also two dressers in the parents' bedroom that the kid and the toddler can use perfectly fine. So I didn't think it was that necessary that they had their own dresser. I know for realistic purposes or to make it look more realistic, it makes more sense to put a dresser in their bedroom. But for gameplay purposes, you don't actually need the dresser. You can just have a mirror and everything is fine. So it's very minimalistic in that way. So every single sim doesn't necessarily have everything you know a normal person in a family home would have and they just have whatever they need for gameplay purposes so I just kind of went for that a little bit but anyways now that we've talked about all the things that I need to go back and change before uploading it to the gallery or everything that you guys may want to change if you do download this build I want to talk a little bit about the positives, basically. So I really like the yellow siding or the yellow wallpaper on the house or on the trailer itself. Like I said before, I'm so happy that we got yellow wallpaper. I know that it may be a little bit too much for some people, but honestly, I'm obsessed with that color and I think it looks really, really cute with my reshade as well. I actually have a separate reshade for Strangerville because this world, it, it, this world feels a little bit more saturated than Willow Creek, for example. I don't know what's up with that, but whenever I use my regular reshade, it just kind of turns everything orange and it's just a little bit too much. So yeah, I have a separate reshade preset for Strangerville and I don't know if you guys want it, but I will link to a, or I'll leave a download link in the description down below in case you do. So I don't know how to install presets by the way. I have no idea. I don't remember. I don't remember doing it either, but I'm sure you can find a reshade, uh, what's it called, tutorial here on YouTube in case you are curious. Reshade is one of the favorite favorite things I have added to my game and especially for like a new crest or Willow Creek or whatever I just really like that it adds a little bit more color to the world so yeah anyways there is a download link down there in case you are curious and you want my preset for Strangerville it's not anything special it just adds the set like adds a little bit more saturation basically so it's what my other preset does it's just a little bit less so anyways for the yard here I was very skeptical when I started painting everything green but then I started looking at the other trailers in this area and they all had their or not all of them but a couple of them I think two or three of the other trailers I wish we had one more lot in this area by the way I'm just gonna throw that in there but anyways I was looking at the other trailers and they seem to have their own little grass patch so I thought it would look okay you know when you look at the overall picture it looks okay I know it looks a little bit strange when you're just looking at this trailer by itself and there is this kind of desert ground or whatever gravel or whatever it's made of and then there's grass I know it looks a little bit weird but when you look at the overall picture like the whole trailer park together it looks fine in my opinion at least I know that the yellow house itself or trailer itself also looks a little bit out of place but personally I think it's adorable so we're just gonna go with it but yeah they definitely needed a garden because I kind of had this picture of one of the parents being really into like flower arranging like bouquets and also just bouquets and vases I guess is what they make at the flower arrangement table I don't fully remember because it's been a while since the last time I played with it but because of the whole cutesy vibe of the house I just figured one of the parents would be really into like making bouquets and stuff so I gave them a flower arrangement table and also a beekeeping house because the beekeeping house is just so freaking adorable so they have that little area over there and then I also put in a dining table with one of the parasols as well so they can sit outside and eat together or possibly do homework or something or the kid I suppose would do homework by themselves <laughs> there's also a grill outside so they can sit there and eat grill food if they want to it's just a very like 
cutesy cozy kind of garden and I also insisted that the toddler and the kid would have a sandbox so I put the monkey jungle bar thing over there and also a slide for the toddler. I don't recall ever having used the slide maybe like once or twice or something but it's not one of those items that is my go-to basically so I figured because I actually remember that it had a blue and yellow swatch so I thought I thought it would be perfect for this trailer because of the whole color scheme so I decided to go for that. Later on I also put in a toy box over there so they can sit out there and play with toys as well and then the kiddie pool I put that on the porch because again one of those items that I never really use but it's so adorable and there's a toddler in this house so they needed a kiddie pool basically. <laughs> oh there's another item that I don't ever really use and that's the bird feeding thing. I actually forgot what that's called, but there's this bird feeding thing, whatever, from, I think it's from either Backyard Stuff Pack or Perfect Patio. 100% from one of those two packs. Don't really remember, but it's, it's pretty cute and your sims can use it. Like, they can actually put food into it or bird food into it, which I think is pretty pretty adorable so I decided to put that over there by the flowers as well and this is when I kind of had to make the bathroom just a little bit smaller because I noticed that the sunroof or skylight or whatever you want to call that was actually not covering or it was it was kind of you could see over the wall to the bathroom and I thought that would be a little bit awkward. I know that no one's gonna crawl on top of the trailer and look down into the bathroom, but it's just the thought of it, you know? It just looked a little bit weird. So I decided to make the bathroom a little bit smaller instead of making the skylight a little bit smaller because otherwise it wouldn't have aligned with the front door and I hate that. <laughs> so I was dealing with a two by two bathroom here and had to play test it while I was furnishing it but it turned out fine but now I'm gonna have to go back and change it again. <laughs> so there is a shower slash uh, bath top combo for the toddler and also the dog. Hopefully that's okay still. But that does mean there'll be no sink in the bathroom so your sims will have to use the one in the kitchen instead. I have done that before though I will say because I do tend to prioritize the other areas over the bathroom basically so technically if you have a tiny house where there's only supposed to be adult sims living or younger adult sims living in there you could technically just have the bathroom be a three by one and then just have a shower and a toilet toilet in there. You could even take out the shower and just have your sims wash hands to get their hygiene up but I don't recommend doing that because it takes a long time but you could. Just saying you could do that. For me when it comes to furnishing tiny houses it's definitely more like I tend to furnish it according to just the essential needs like gameplay purposes so not realism basically so that's why again no dresser in the kids room here and again also no sink in the bathroom but that's just how I do tiny houses and Hopefully, again, hopefully that is okay. I feel like that's a sentence I say a lot in my voiceovers, but <laughs> anyways. So for the children's room in here, I did have to play test it just a little bit, as you can see, and then I was freaking out because <laughs> there were so many infected sims on my porch and I don't know, who wants a welcome wagon where everyone is just looking kinda, kinda crazy, like a bunch of lunatics? Uh, not me, no thank you. <laughs> So that was a little bit creepy. I thought I would include it in the footage anyways because it looked really funny sped up, but um, anyways. In here we got the parents' bedroom and they definitely have the bigger bedroom, but they're also the parents, so you know. They also have the bassinet over there, so technically there are three sims sleeping in here. And the dog bed is also going to be in this room next to the bookcase, which is on the right side of the screen right now. I chose this little what's it called like um like an egg from from my first pet stuff pack i think but i think it's cute and i don't recall ever having used that specific swatch before but it was yellow so i had to go for it for this one and uh yeah you can just take that out by the way if you want the dog to be a bigger dog obviously that dog can't use the small pet bed so you can just take it out and put something else in there like a plant or whatever and I had to play test this room as well just to make sure that there would be no rooting problems or anything like that and it worked out perfectly fine. But anyways guys we are getting to the end of this video so I'm gonna wrap up this voiceover now. If you like this build you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. As always if you have any suggestions for anything you want to see here on the channel 
do let me know in the comment section down below. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye! I don't know where she came from Kinda turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I wanna spend the night at hers And bring her one of my t-shirts So it smells like her perfume Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. There's something about the way she laughs and the way she always dances. When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just wanna tell her how I feel Scream it out loud Have you ever been in love?